Hi. Um, this poem actually began at Middlesex Fells. Um, it is about how, how a human being living in the 21st century come in, comes into the consciousness of beholding a coral. And then what would the coral say back to this person right now if it were about to be bleached? Um, so bear with me. This is the poem. It's called Falling from the Fells into the Reef, the Cry of the Coral. I had seen it before as I had seen a blue morpho gorging on marigold sap, its body a horizon on solar pleats. The middle sex fells were an acoustic current so thick that I voice noted the hum. Gnats and buzzing unfamiliars peaked with the pulse of barks. Leaves, twig throngs, coraled up the susurrus. A termite colony loaded up prandial spoils on a truncated log, whose spirals of existence were the same advancing gyre the butterfly had swirled in the air with its leap. I touched a fern and felt each layer of my senses soften as if the circulating minerality of the stars that studs my soma could remember once being a lake an ocean, an azurite, chlorophyll and coral, or petrichor from moss on a stone temple in Kashmir. I long to know the name for the dorsal cupping of the sun. I long to know the bearer of each petiole, the avid, breathy circuitry of the stoma. I knew just then, deep in my bones, that the nouns of things had to be re-enchanted into incantation inscription, memory. We need to begin to relearn the names of things we are. These hieroglyphs of ancient moss forged from stars that died even as we saw them alive. What would each polyp of a coral say to me now with its tentacular mouth if I could hear its voice if its language was my own? But its language is my own not apart from me, but apart off me. It's swirling in its own elegy. The currents seem to say, I am turning white from your desire. I am the sacrifice for your life's heat. If cohesion is the means by which memory moves forward, you are dimming me into the dark beyond recall. I want you to know membranes of my algal soul where fabric becomes filament and sparks into fire. I want you to know each layer of this flaming incense and go deep within your cruelties that I light to burn off. I want you to know me not as a bleached tomb nor as an ancient ruin beneath a blackening blue that gives you an inkling of my primordial colors. I want you to hear the inaudible chants that have formed this crepuscular reef I inhabit that I used to call my prehistoric home. I want you to know I have already mourned our deaths, yours and mine, and how my survival is how I bear myself to love's human anvil until I have borne every pain the hammer and the hammered can know just so I can sink into or soar toward that blank film of neither ice nor water, nor vapor nor air, but that pellucid sail of consciousness, pre-thinking, pure, where nothing can unweave my thread into eternity so much that it is woven by all and remains undeterred beneath all galactic buzzes of your motion. Do you know me? I ask. Do you know me? You reply. The spirals of our thumbs touch and we jolt apart as if being there was just enough. I'm speeding into the light. I hope you will catch me. There is a fountain here in my blanched cemetery. I want you to see it. I call your name. I call you by your name and find you imaged in my eyes. I want to be spectral, not a specter. Save me from yourself.